G'day guys, it's Captain Carter and welcome back to another episode of Cold Waters. This is going to be another tutorial and today I'm going to teach you guys how to track down the Red October. Okay, like we start any tutorial or any mission, we are going to rig the ship for quiet operations. So hit that Shift S key. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Thank you. Bit of lag there, don't know why. Okay, and we are going to start banging away at the signature panel. And what you need to do now, this particular mission comes as part of the uh, playable subs mod, which gives you the Russian submarines, gives you a couple more uh, NATO submarines as well. Um, really cool mod. Look it up. Now, we are sitting here in the duct at the moment, or oh, sitting here at the, th at the in the shadow zone. Try that again. And I'm just going to reset my depth to 150 feet. Make depth 150 feet dive by. Because I'm a silly person and I bumped a key that I shouldn't have bumped. Right, oh, so we're going to start flicking through our contact list. Now, that deal looks pretty good for the Red October. But we need to flick through because it's the same for a blue whale. And I reckon that one there is a blue whale, so I'm going to call that. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is classified as biologic. biologic. Righto. Sierra 3. I'm going to call that as a whale as well. Con sonar, Sierra 3 is classified as biologic. I'm going to call that as a whale. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as biologic. Okay, and what I was looking for was just over in this corner here, I was looking for any sort of sign of another sound signature popping up on there, but I haven't found anything yet. But that's okay, that doesn't mean that she's not out here. I can guarantee you she's out here, because look at that, vessel's nearby. So, we've just got to find her. Alright, can't find her up here in the shadow zone. And you got to remember, it's going to be awfully, awfully quiet. See, we haven't got that last line up there in the in the 2000 band. We haven't got that there yet. Now, it is 85 decibels. It is extremely quiet, and it's 81 for ambient noise. Now, you got to remember also a whale. If I flick through till we get to the whales. Blue whales. 185 decibels, very, very noisy. That's why we're detecting the blue whale. But we haven't picked up Red October yet. Like I said, doesn't mean she's not out here. Those three are whales. Now we don't want to kill the whales, so let's take ourselves up to 50 feet. Make depth five, zero feet, die by. Right. <clears throat> So we're going to cruise around up here at 50 feet for a bit, just in case. At five, zero feet, die by. And we'll just change our heading a couple of times. Come right to two, three, two, helm I. Just in case we pick up another signature. Con helm, steady course. Right, uh, she's not here. So let's take ourselves down now to 500 feet. Make depth five zero zero feet dive by. Now you got to remember in this mission, the Red October does not want to be found. So where could she be? Con dive at five zero zero feet dive by. Again, we want to do. A couple Come of different two, course one, changes. Four, three, helm, I. And we should eventually come across her. Con, helm, steady course. And that's our whale, and it's not actually going to show on there. Now, I've got one very easy way of flushing it out, and that's an active sonar ping. 
obviously I really don't want to do that because that's going to give away my position as well as show Red October's position. And you've got to remember in this environment Red October has the advantage. It's silent. It's near silent. That's a very tactical maneuver by those whales. Alright, they're definitely all whales, 100%. So I'm happy that I've now identified the whales. I know where they are. Hell, I can... One of them's 5,000 yards away. I should almost be able to see the silly thing. They're definitely whales because of the way they're moving around. There it is. There's the whale. Righto. What's that whale doing? That is not going to help proceedings. Excuse me, Mr. Whale, you're being awfully loud there. It's difficult for me to find a submarine when you're calling like mad. Alright, what we're going to do... I'm going to throw a moss into one of the tubes here. See if we can't track it down with a moss. Now, the moss, which is the mobile... Mobile sub, uh, submarine simulator... It's going to make all the noises of me. And I'm going to send it off in. One, that Rig ship for ultra quiet. And we're going to see if that wakes Red October up. Gotta remember, she is around here somewhere. Then again, maybe it's not. Undetected. Son bitch. Okay. Alright. In that case, let's go with a Virginia. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Bingo. Now we already know what the whales look like, and look at that, we've got four contacts now. It there. That's definitely it. Con sonar Sierra One is classified as submerged submarine. Sneaky bugger. Problem for it. I'm sneakier. <clears throat> Make depth five zero zero feet dive by. So, how do you find the Red October? Well, it's kind of simple. You just don't use a Los Angeles class. <laughs> You just don't use Los Angeles class because dive, you'll never five, find it. Zero, zero, unless eight, you dive, happen dive. to drive straight into it. There we go. We've got its bearing. Con, helm, steady course. And we're about to get a firing solution. Eighty percent. Eighty five percent. There she is. Right where she's expected to be. Now, as normal, it's quiet enough down here. Firing point procedures, tube 1, bearing 274, range to enable 9,400 yards. Shoot tube 1. Shoot tube 1, I third. Firing point procedures, tube 2, bearing 274, range to enable 9,200 yards. Shoot tube 2. Shoot tube 2, I third. Firing point procedures, tube 3. Bearing 269, range to enable 6,100 yards, shoot tube 3. Shoot tube 
Firing point procedures bearing two six nine uh French to enable five thousand four hundred yards shoot tube four. Shoot tube four. Aye sir. All tubes are away. Now the good thing is she can run but she can't hide. Well, she can't actually run either. If you remember the movie, if you remember the movie, The Hunt for the Red October, she can only do uh, about ten to fourteen knots with her silent propulsion, with a silent drive. There she is, two, three, four, and she has not reciprocated fire, which is very, very interesting. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. So that's the first two torpedoes. Fire control, and that's the last two. You will require several torpedoes to down the Red October because you've got to remember it's a typhoon. It is a massive submarine, and of course it's going to show it with the propellers running. Yeah, it's it okay. It's not 100% accurate, but who cares? It's fun, especially when you get to do this to it. How the uh, the damage model is a bit <laughs> out of place. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Just trying Con, to drop sonar, a noise maker bearing two, drop a knuckle. six. Seven. Oh no. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Oh, there's no evading this. There is no evading this. It's just not going to happen. And. Third torpedo. Con sonar lost. There it contact. goes. Sierra one. Last bearing two six seven. Contact breaking up. Okay, so the key to killing the Red October, unless you're extremely lucky in Los Angeles class, use anything else. Is pretty much my suggestion for that mission. It's only because I used the Virginia that I actually managed to pick it up. Um. So, I suppose that's the rather anti-climatic uh, tutorial for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, I'll catch you guys next time.